Hi all, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing some folding tips and techniques. These tips have helped me to stay organized and help to keep my wardrobe in a nice and organized manner. These tips will be helpful for you if you follow basket system or not. If you have Indian wardrobe, then definitely they will help you to keep your wardrobe organized throughout the year. So let's start. The first thing that I am folding is salwar kameez. I like to lay my kameez or shirt like this and then fold it in half. The fabric is always good side out. And then I fold in the sleeves. This forms the shape of a rectangle. Now on top of this I like to lay the salwar. The salwar is again folded just in half lengthwise. And on top of this I like to lay the dupatta. The dupatta also I have folded to form the shape of a rectangle. Now I gently fold anything that is left outside the rectangle so that it forms a rectangle. And then I start folding the cloth two times. I like to keep my salwar kameez this way. And I don't roll my salwar kameez and keep it in basket. I keep it like this itself on shelf. Here we are folding denims. I have just folded the denim in half. And then I am going to take out one leg of the denim. So it forms a shape of a triangle. Now starting from the waist, I nicely, securely start to roll it towards the leg. While rolling, make sure that you are holding it nice and secure. You have to roll it from the waist towards the leg. And once you have completely rolled it, you are going to take the leg that is hanging out and flip it inside out. Just turn the fabric inside out and you will have nicely folded denim. This helps in maximizing the space lengthwise. It is also very helpful if you store your denims in basket. Now next we are folding socks. I like to lay my socks one on top of each other so that they form the shape of a plus sign. Now I am folding the sock like this, one sock and the other sock I like to fold it lengthwise from the toes towards the elastic. Now once you are done towards the elastic just flip it, just turn it outside and it will be secured nicely. You can fold your socks like this or you can also fold it other way. Here, I have taken the pair of socks and I have taken one sock that is inside out. I am going to lay on to it in top of each other. They are nicely aligned, the toes and ankles and everything. Now I will start rolling it from the toes. And then once I am almost done, I am going to just take the fabric inside out which is just roll it over and then it is done. Now let's fold sweater. I've taken a sweater here and then from the waist I will fold it 6 inches upside. So I'm just going to turn it upside like this. So this is one of my favorite folding techniques since it helps in a lot of space maximization. Now I'm going to just cross the sleeves like this and then fold in the shoulders so this forms a rectangle now I'm going to start folding it lengthwise we are going to come down towards the waist now once you have folded towards the waist you are just going to flip this fabric just take that out and cover it now your sweaters will be nicely secured and this helps in a lot of space utilization and helps in arranging the sweaters nicely. Now let's see how to fold hooded jacket. I am going to fold in the sleeves but before folding the sleeve make sure that you have nicely secured the zipper. Now fold in the sleeves same way they have to form an X. And then fold in the shoulders so that it forms a rectangle. 
start folding from the waist towards the hood and then once you reach almost three fourth way just flip over the hood and nicely secure it this way your sweaters will stay in place and they won't jumble and spoil the other folded cloth this tip is especially helpful if you have kids and you have to store a lot of jackets and sweaters this has helped me a lot in maximizing the space in my wardrobe and cabinets now let me show you how i fold in a wear i just fold it breadwise so that it forms a rectangle and then i start folding it from the lengthwise fold it towards the elastic or towards the waist and once you're done just flip the elastic inside out like this just take the cloth and turn it and then you'll have your inner garment nicely secured now let me show you how i fold my dupatta i folded the dupatta to form the shape of a rectangle now on one side of the dupatta one side of the rectangle i am going to just fold in the corner and it forms the shape of a triangle immediately it is going to form a triangle now if you want you can fold the dupatta breadwise again i have just simply folded it now so that it is easy for me to roll on camera now using one side i'm just going to start rolling it nicely i'm going to roll it towards the triangle now roll it nicely this is especially helpful if you want to store your dupattas towels dhoti or any fabric that is in a rectangle shape now once you start reaching the triangle now fold it towards the end and using the end part of it nicely tuck it inside and secure it now this tip will help to keep the dupattas in place for long and also helps in maximizing the storage of basket now let us fold t-shirt in seconds with the help of a tape i have marked three points here a a is a little below the neck and shoulder b is in the middle and c is towards the down these are all on the right hand side of the shirt you don't need tape every time i'm just showing this to demonstrate i'm using a tape these are imaginary points you need to keep in your mind so with your right hand i'm going to take pick a and with left hand i'm going to pick b both front and back of the fabric and i'm going to cross the left hand with my right hand like this and lift c both front and back fabric so i am going to hold a and b and cross and touch c lift c so i am just going to hold a and b cross pick c immediately unfold your hand and then fold it once towards your right this way t-shirt would be ready in second let me show you once again So these are the points you have to keep in mind. Point A below the shoulder and your neck, B in the middle and C towards the end. Pick and lift and fold. You can fold it like this or what I like to do is just keep the shirt lying face down and then fold in the shoulder so that it forms a rectangle like this and start folding it lengthwise two times most of the retailers also follow this tip the same with a full sleeve t-shirt the shirt is lying face down and then i fold in the shoulders just so that it forms a rectangle and then nicely align your sleeves like this and start folding the shirt from the waist towards the neck lengthwise this way t-shirt would be ready if you are using baskets you can fold it 3 times i have folded twice 
For basket, you can fold it three times as per your choice and convenience. Like this. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. And that brings an end to this video. Do share this video if you liked it. And thanks for watching. Do subscribe to my channel. And thanks for being a subscriber. Bye guys.